state of the nation. Make no mistake about it Hurricane Irma was quite deliberately geo-engineered as a highly destructive and deadly superstorm just as Hurricane Harvey was. The NWO globalist Cabell has ordered the geo-engineers to fabricate this Frankenstorm as a direct threat to President Donald J. Trump and his administration. Key point it's no meteorological accident that both Texas and Florida are getting assaulted by geo-engineered weather warfare. Both states are as red a rooster's comb and served as major staging areas for the Trump movement during the 2016 campaign season. The Patriot movement is also getting clobbered by the record fires in Montana, Idaho and Washington. Even the Hollywood elites are acting as proxies for the globalists by blaming Trump for both superstorms and the fires because of his climate change positions. TPTB ultimately hoped to sway the nationalists domiciled in every state against Trump's plan to MAGA. As always, there are several purposes for a manufactured mega-hurricane, each of which serves to significantly advance the stymied New World Order agenda. Why stymied? Because Trump has decisively taken his wrecking ball to the covert scheme to impose a one-world government upon we the people. He has done this by pulling the U.S. out of the TIP Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, renegotiating NAFTA, and shutting down illegal immigration, among several other weighty initiatives. However, Trump's biggest reversal for the NWO cabal by far was withdrawing the United States from the Paris Climate Accord. This single executive action by the POTUS has thwarted the NWO agenda more than any other patriotic move he has made to date. The profound repercussions and far-reaching ramifications of Trump's withdrawal from the Paris Agreement are causing TPTB major headaches and will not be tolerated. For that fraudulent agreement was the centerpiece of an evolving global totalitarian government which is somewhat modeled after the tyrannical European Union superstate. 1. The critical point here is that the globalists are now doing whatever they can to lend support to their false CO2-driven climate change narrative. They are so desperate to foist their extremely expensive labor-intensive climate change hoax upon the world community of nations that they will resort to destroying whole cities. Their sacred cow of global climate change a geo-engineered phenomenon will not be sacrificed under any circumstances, if they can help it. As the preceding link reveals, the cabal is determined to convince the people of the world that their CO2 version of climate change is real even though it's utterly fake. The same weather controllers have regularly used the mainstream media MSM to promote the global climate change GCC scam via so much fake news and incessant disinformation. Ever since Harvey battered Corpus Christi and swamped Houston, there has been a steady drumbeat from the MSM about climate change being the underlying cause of the ensuing 1,000-year flood. Now that Irma has terrorized the North Caribbean islands before slamming into South Florida, the same MSM organs of propaganda have taken every opportunity to criticize Trump for his climate stance. The coordinated chorus of criticism is getting louder and more shrill by the day as if they are acting on cue. That's because they are. Both Frankenstorms were clearly manipulated from the start to produce maximum effect so the GCC industry could aggressively push their fictitious CO2-driven climate change contrivance. There is much more to this GCC ruse than meets the eye. In fact, this multi-decade conspiracy requires some penetrating analysis to properly unpack the various layers of deceit and deception duplicity and disinformation. In order to correctly understand just how pivotal the GCC scheme is toward the establishment of their one world government, the article below ought to be carefully read. 
Hurricane Irma right after Superstorm Harvey. The creation of these two Frankenstorms is obviously no freak of Mother Nature. The fastidious development of Irma over the past several days has all the telltale signatures of gengineering and subtle signs of weather manipulation. Similarly, Hurricane Harvey was a geoengineered as all the satellite videos graphically depict. In fact, the whole world just witnessed the weather warfare that Harvey waged against East Texas. The various reasons for that superstorm invasion are many and varied, as well as unequivocal. As follows Hurricane Harvey and weather warfare explained. Key point there is now a preponderance of evidence which points directly to Irma being a stealthily geoengineered superstorm just like Harvey was. The highly unusual behavior of this transparently manufactured Frankenstorm has been exposed by a number of investigative weather researchers. What the geoengineers hope to accomplish with Harvey and Irma is a one-two knockout punch. They don't care if they have to destroy a few major cities in the process of implementing their nefarious NWO agenda. The globalists are on an exceedingly tight schedule which must be adhered to if they are to be successful in the formation of their UN-sponsored communist one-world government. That this widespread devastation by way of weather warfare is taking place in 2017, on the 100th anniversary of the Bolshevik Revolution of 1917, is no quick of fate. To the cabal plans to generate so much chaos and confusion via weather invasions that their violent left-wing terrorist groups for example, Antifa, Black Lives Matter, etc. can wreak havoc in the urban areas. This salient tactic much be apprehended quickly, as it is an essential prong of the Soros-sponsored Purple Revolution. Will there be a third and fourth superstorm? Yes, chances are very great that TPTB will not stop with the naked weather warfare until President Trump has openly submitted to their will. The cabal will no longer tolerate the POTUS so blatantly disrupting their agenda. Trump has already taken his wrecking ball to their major MSM news outlets, and it's unlikely they will permit him to sink the GCC Titanic. In view of this very tense state of affairs, the entire planetary civilization is witnessing an epic battle between Team Trump and Deep State. Such a cataclysmic war has never been fought before out in the open. Truly, this is the final battle between the forces of light and the forces of darkness. Because the ultimate control of planet Earth is at stake for both sides of this conflict, there will likely be a fifth, sixth and seventh superstorm as well, unless. Conclusion It is for this reason that many platforms in our worldwide news network and allied advocacy groups have called for extraordinary measures be taken to shut down the geoengineering programs post-haste. As long as the geoengineers are chemtrailing the skies and transmitting harp frequencies via advanced satellite-based technologies, the whole world remains inordinately vulnerable to these weather wars. Unfortunately, those who rule the world carry out their plots using cliques of incorrigible and criminally insane psychopaths. These politicians, politicos, and power brokers are completely without conscience just as the geoengineers and chemtrail pilots are devoid of the same. They are all hardwired in this lifetime to perpetrate great evil upon the land, the waters, the air and especially the people everywhere. Only when the true depth and breadth of this devolving predicament is comprehended will the American people seek the necessary solutions in another realm. Because the fate of humanity now hangs in the balance, as does the continuity of the biosphere, the time to act is now. To allow the wanton destruction of the global environment to go on is completely unacceptable. Hence, the following initiative is made available to every human being.
This worldwide prayer vigil is specifically intended to to end engineering and the weather wars waged against humanity. State of the Nation September 8, 2017 Caveat the intentional timing of Irma to hit on September 11, 2017 also triggers all types of PTSD symptoms both individually and collectively. More significantly, Irma has diverted the attention from 9-11 Truth Movement initiatives which were set to expose more of the government conspiracy on this Monday's 9-11 anniversary.